Ben introduced us to some very creative students whose classroom needed a little TLC. They had a vision and a long list of imaginative demands, so I took it upon myself to say, hey, we're going to do this with our friends from Everblock. Gentlemen, we have some things to talk about. A lot, actually. We got some notes from the kids. Disco ball, dance floor, popcorn booth, ice cream station that creates popcorn, and then uh, a happy place. Anything is doable with Everblock. Really? <laughs> Can I help? Absolutely. Try the block. Yeah. It starts back. I think we have the perfect plan to give PS119 the absolute most magnificent classroom they could possibly want. And we're going to get it done right now. Guys, we need a happier, happy place. Hey, ah, uh, oh. Excuse me, I need to go into my reading place now. All right, you guys. Yes. We have finished your dreams inside there with Everblock. We totally redid the room. We're gonna show you. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, keep your eyes closed, eyes closed. Follow me. Just, yeah, yeah, buddy system. It's the buddy system. You're good, you're good. Eyes closed, eyes closed. Eyes closed, come on in. You guys ready to see your room? Yes! Open your eyes. One, two, three, open them! Oh, yeah! How do you guys like your room? I love it! I think we should celebrate by having a dance party. You're welcome. <laughs> Joining us now, please welcome the mastermind behind the Everblock system, Arnon Rosen. How you doing, man? Doing well. Thanks Thank for having me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for doing that with us. We appreciate it. it those kids loved it. It was a lot of fun. It. Yeah, it was great fun. And those kids deserved it, man. They were so sweet. And you had Their to see, like, faces lighten up. How beautiful. So happy. Those smiles. They're happy place, the places to read, all this fun stuff. So that's really cool. And oh, classrooms are just the beginning of how Everblock can transform a room, right? Yeah, I mean, we've done everything from uh, office layouts to uh, props for displays to exhibits for trade shows to mm -hmm. things for uh, large companies when they want to have uh, corporate events and team building. So it's a lot of fun. I get to build with blocks all day. So What is the craziest thing. thing you ever made? So we, uh, we were called on by Bryant Park for their winter carnival to build a big castle. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Awesome. that's severe, man. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. So it was a, almost like a life-size castle, and that was really fun, mm -hmm. and everybody taking pictures in front of it, and we were glowing it with lights from How inside and out. How long would it out. take to do that? That took us only about three hours to set up. So that was wow, really, really cool. Yeah. Well, look how fast yeah. they're moving. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How'd you come up with the idea for this? So yeah, I have to give credit to my kids. So I have uh, twin 12-year-old boys and a seven-year-old boy. And uh, mm -hmm. when the twins were 10, uh, they, um, they were playing with blocks. They were playing with bricks. And I was kind of sitting around. I had just sold a business. And I didn't really know. You were really done. You like retired, right? Sort of. Yeah. I didn't really know what to do with myself. And they kind of looked like, Dad, you're kind of spending a little too much time at home. <laughs> Get out what of are the you house. doing next? Yeah. Um, and they said, um, well, listen, we'd love to build with uh, blocks and things. Why don't you make us something big that yeah. we can build big stuff life size? Right. And it kind of started there. And it started as almost like a little project with the kids for fun. Yeah. And, uh, and then it kind of turned into a business. And now I'm working harder than I had been in <laughs> a long yeah. time. So. My favorite part about this, this situation is that you help uh, people who are affected by natural disasters, right? Mm. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're not quite there yet. But one of the goals, yeah, I mean, one of the goals is to, to get to the point where we can build these modular structures. So. For, um, for housing in a disaster situation where you can ship it in on an airplane. Oh, look at that. And build up. So that's a Amazing. model. Right? That's a model, right. So okay. we're, we're starting to do like some work in Mexico for after the earthquake. Um, and it's pretty exciting because 
you know, the, it's what started as kind of a, a block almost as a toy is now being used for really functional things. Absolutely. And you're going to make us something today, right? For sure, what yeah. What is it? Uh, so I'm going to show you over here. We started building it, and I'm going to let you guys kind of finish that up. Nice. All right. Um, Let's do it. Good, yeah. So basically, the blocks, they fit together. They, they nest and they stack. OK. And they're quite <laughs> strong. So uh, let's build well, Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to build Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> here, exactly. You've got it. Like you can this? just kind of okay. set well, this down experience. in here. And you it's can put these sturdy. in over here, Kelly. All right. And just kind of push it down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. OK. Yeah. It's locked in there. And then you can push Are we that making down. a throne right now? We are making a throne. Oh, wow. Oh. Sweet. Fun. Yeah, and the idea is that There's you could you could literally build ever, anything. So you create a really mod, cool chair. Queen Kelly, you want to hit it up? Oh, please. Kelly. After you look like an like the ice queen. Like you look like you're hanging out like an igloo right now. Here's it. Do it. Yes. I feel like we need to fan her now. Feed, feed her grapes. This <laughs> my grapes. This is Kelly's trailer, by the way. This is what happens. This is amazing. Yeah. Now you can turn this table and chair to anything. What else? Yeah, that's the idea. I mean, we can take the same blocks and reuse them again and again. You know, part of the that's vision cool. was to create this product that that you'd never have to throw away. So one day it's a wall to divide your kids' room. The next day it's a chair. Next day it's a table, a, a coffee table. Absolutely. So it's really and it's fun for everybody. It's super fun, yeah. Well, we're gonna put you to the test right now because you're gonna take this. You have 15 minutes. Okay. You're gonna take this and redo it and make it into a completely different piece of furniture. Okay, let's do it. Ooh. All right. You okay. up for the challenge? I am up for the challenge. Right. Let's start the timer right now. Uh oh. <laughs> well, Arna's busy with that. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, Chef Money Chohan is back with a classic Chinese dim sum spread, perfect for families and parties. Can't wait. Stay with us. Super. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. We're back with Everblock creator Anon Rosen. 15 minutes ago, we challenged Arnon to transform these table and chairs he built earlier into something new. Absolutely. Arnon, where did you get your inspiration from for this challenge? Well, I looked around this beautiful set, and I saw there was only one thing missing. Actually, two things. I figured I'd create something multi-purpose. OK. Uh -huh. So I thought I'd create sort of the ultimate Nerf gun fort by day, oh, I, oh. and then bar, bar by night. Sounds great. Ah. <laughs> let's see. Arnon, let's, let's see what you made. All right. It's a bar. Oh my God, that's awesome. Oh this my is gosh. the one thing that we needed. Ben used to be a bartender. Yep. There we go. Many years of barring. That's so cool. Many years ago. Right. Or it's a really flamboyant podium. No, I think it's great, but I'm not going to lie. I think it could use a woman's touch. You think so? Let me bring my crew out. Where are you ladies? Come on out here. Yeah. What is that? Every bar needs a cocktail. <laughs> it's a drink thing. That's awesome. Cool. Now we're Perfect. talking. What is it? Are we, are we doing Are we doing a snifter right here? Oh, yes, yeah, a little nice, cheers. Yeah, yeah. Now, Arna, well, I have an you're, accent with this fancy glass. You're, you're launching a new product. We should put alcohol down for this. <laughs> you're launching a new product for kids, right? I am. So we wanted to create something that was a little bit more accessible mm -hmm. because these, you know, these are really structural blocks, and we use them for you know, big construction. So we decided to create something made out of cardboard cool. that kids could play with, but that still works together with the plastic. So yeah. It's right there. Yeah, that's what we created. So we built a little robot here, and uh, you can draw on it. You can put oh, stickers fun. on it. Yeah, and the idea is that now kids can play with it too. So you can have your Nerf gun for it, your bar, and your kids' robot. Well, we have some. We have some. <laughs> we have um, our some producers' tech. sons yeah. here, Cam hey, and Dash. <laughs> What's up, guys? Do y'all like to play with blocks at home? Yeah. What do you think about this? Pretty cool. Um, fun. Yeah. Yes. You yeah. guys, if you turn around, you see that you have a multitude of markers yeah. here. Yes. I want you to get crack and get busy. I want you to test this puppy out, okay? I want you to draw on it, have fun, yeah, test it out. Don't be shy. See if you like it. You can tell it's a robot, right? Yes. And if it leans, it's a robot with bad posture. <laughs> so you don't want that. So keep going. Go nuts. Have fun, guys. Yeah, test it out. It, cool. Yeah. All right. So these are made out of cardboard, so there's not, they're a lot more safe than the Right. Than the these are blocks. more safe. They come flat. Yeah. So yeah, one of the big that. issues with that, obviously, is that they ship as a yes. full block. Mm -hmm. So we wanted something that could ship flat. We could sell, sell all around the world very easily and just yeah. send it by mail to people. So uh, people have been having a lot of fun. And actually, this is the first place we've shown it. So we're just launching Wonderful. it now. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Arnon, and to our special Product testers, Dash and Cam. Good job, Good fellas. Job, Little studs here. And I want to give a, best, a special shout out to PS119 school principal Lisa Fernandez for yeah, all the help sure. she gave to us and her students. You guys were so spectacular. We do appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. 
Next, one of Nashville's most innovative bartenders is shaking things up for fall. What's his secret recipe? Stay tuned to find out. I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know.